Hi V Kids, welcome back. It's great to see you again on our Good Friday video today where we're going to find out all about what happens next in the story in our Holy Week this week. So don't forget we also have another video for today which is on our YouTube page which is a nice bake along that you can do at home as well if you want to do that. But first of all, we need to find out what happened in today's story. So we are going to head over to Granny Page Turner, who's going to tell us all about the story. So over to you, Granny Page Turner. Oh, is that the V Kids again? Yes, it is. Hello again. Welcome back. It's great to see you all again. And we're going to find out what happens next in Holy Week. So do you remember yesterday we learnt about the Last Supper? And we learnt about when Jesus washed his disciples' feet, didn't we? Yes, now today it's Good Friday. So we're going to learn about what happened then. So if you've got your Jesus Storybook Bible, you have, it's on page 302. 302 and it's called The Sun Stopped Shining. So let's watch the story together. The sun stops shining. So you're a king, are you? The Roman soldiers jeered. Ah, oh, then you'll need a crown and a robe. They gave Jesus a crown made out of thorns and put a purple robe on him and pretended to bow down to him. Oh, your majesty, they said. Then they whipped him and spat on him. They didn't understand this was the Prince of Life, the King of Heaven and Earth, who had come to rescue them. The soldiers made him a sign, Our King, and nailed it to a wooden cross. They walked up a hill outside the city. Jesus carried the cross on his back. Jesus had never done anything wrong, but they were going to kill him the way criminals were killed. They nailed Jesus to the cross. Father, forgive them, Jesus gasped. They don't understand what they're doing. You say you've come to rescue us, people shouted. You can't even rescue yourself. But they were wrong. Jesus could have rescued himself. A legion of angels would have flown to his side if he'd called. If you were really the son of God, you could just climb down off that cross they said. And of course they were right. Jesus could have just climbed down. Actually, he could have just said a word and made it all stop, like when he healed that little girl and stilled the storm and fed 5,000 people. But Jesus stayed. You see, they didn't understand. It wasn't the nails that kept Jesus there. It was love. Papa? Jesus cried, frantically searching the sky. Papa, where are you? Don't leave me! And for the first time, and the last, when he spoke, nothing happened. Just a horrible, endless silence. God didn't answer. He turned away from his boy. Tears rolled down Jesus' face, the face of the one who would wipe away every tear from every eye. Even though it was midday, a dreadful darkness covered the face of the world. The sun could not shine. The earth trembled and quaked. The great mountains shook Rocks split in two until it seemed that the whole world would break. 
the creation itself would tear apart. The full force of the storm of God's fierce anger at sin was coming down on his own son instead of his people. It was the only way God could destroy sin and not destroy his children whose hearts were filled with sin. Then Jesus shouted out in a loud voice, It is finished! And it was. He had done it. Jesus had rescued the whole world. Father, Jesus cried, I give you my life. And with a great sigh, he let himself die. Strange clouds and shadows filled the sky, purple, orange, black, like a bruise. Jesus' friends gently carried Jesus. They laid Jesus in a new tomb, carved out of rock. How could Jesus die? What had gone wrong? What did it mean? They didn't know anything anymore, except they did know that their hearts were breaking. Ah, that's the end of Jesus, the leader said. But just to be sure, they sent strong soldiers to guard the tomb. They hauled a huge stone in front of the door to the tomb so that no one could get in or out. Wow, well, wasn't it sad to see that Jesus died on the cross there? But you know what? It was also really, really powerful and actually an amazing part of God's rescue plan for us. And you know what? Professor Bonkers is going to tell us a little bit more about how powerful that story is and what it actually means for us. So over to you, Professor Bonkers. Hello everyone, Professor I.B. Bonkers here. It's great to be with you on this Good Friday. Now, I know that yesterday you were learning about the Last Supper and about how Jesus washed his disciples' feet. And today we've learned about how Jesus died on the cross, didn't we? And it was quite sad to see him there dying on the cross, but that's not the end. So we're going to do something. Have you got your box? You got your box for Good Friday yet? Yeah. Now remember yesterday you had some soap in your box for when you were washing each other's feet in your family. And today you've got a different soap in your box. Okay. And we're going to try and wash our hands with this soap. So this is what we're going to do. Now do you remember at the beginning of the Bible when Adam and Eve were in the garden? That was when sin first came into the world. Yeah, and then we've just learnt about how Jesus died for our sins on the cross. Now, let's try washing our hands with this soap and see what happens here. Now, my, my hands actually, they don't look very clean. Let me try and, let me try and wash them even more with this soap here. See what we can see. Oh no, you know what? I'm trying really hard, but my hands are just getting dirtier and dirtier and dirtier. I can't get rid of... I can't get rid of the blackness on my hands. Let me try even harder now. Let's put them in the water and try. Oh no! My hands are so dirty. I'm going to try and try again to get them clean. You know, I can't get them clean. And you know, this is a bit like in the Bible. You know, Jesus died for our sins because we can't get our hearts clean ourselves. We need him. We need him to help us get our hearts clean. And that's how, why he died on the cross for us. So we could all have clean hearts, so our sins could all be forgiven. As much as we try and get our hands clean with this soap, we can't. And as much as we work hard and do good things, we can't have that good friendship with God unless we ask him into our hearts, can we? And that's why Jesus died on the cross. He was part of God's great rescue plan for all of us. And he's the only one who can make us completely clean and make our hearts clean. So why don't you try using this dirty soap at home and see if you can think about how as much as hard as you try to get your hands clean by yourself, you can't. It's God that we need. It's God that we need to make our hearts clean. And that's why Jesus died on the cross. And that's what we remember on Good Friday. Jesus dying on the cross was so powerful, wasn't it? He died to rescue the whole world, to save us all from our sin. 
So what we're going to do now, I'd like you to have another look in your box and see if you can find a cross, a cardboard cross and some crayons. Have you found your cross and your crayons? Great, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to take a moment to think about how Jesus died for each one of us. You know, he died, he forgived us, forgives us from all of our sins. So we're going to take a moment to be thankful and to also say that we're sorry. So on one side of the cross, you can write things that you're sorry for, things that you want to ask Jesus to forgive you for. So you can write the word sorry or you can draw or write things that you're sorry for that you're asking Jesus to forgive you. And on the other side, you can write the word thankful or you can draw or write what you're thankful for. And it might be that you're just so thankful that Jesus died for you. So we're going to play some music now and you've got a few minutes to do this and just think about what you're sorry for and what you're thankful for. And you can decorate your cross with the crayons that you've got in your box. And the next time that we'll see you is on Easter Sunday where you'll find out the last bit of the story of what happened in Holy Week. So we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. So until then, Bye. God didn't have to do this. He didn't have to give so much, but he gave it all when he gave. Jesus came.